What's up design family and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you back on the channel. On today's episode, we'll be looking at the lookbook. What is a lookbook when it comes to fashion brands and ultimately how can it drive sales to your e-commerce fashion business? It's no surprise that most new and old retailers have shifted their business models to selling direct to consumer through their e-commerce channels. As a result, age old traditions like creating a separate lookbook for every collection have pretty much fallen out of favor for newer and more exciting marketing methods. On this episode, we'll give a different approach to the lookbook and identify how it can still bring immense value to your fashion brand and how it can drive e-commerce sales. Hey guys, and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around, you're in for a good one. Before we get into it, what is a lookbook? Essentially a lookbook before the digital age was a physical booklet that brands and retailers would put together to showcase and highlight their newest collections and launches. You can look at a lookbook in parallel to how modern day fashion brands will showcase their newest designs on their social feeds. And they'll sort of blast you with all these new designs once the new collection launches to tell you, hey, listen, we have some great products out and we'd love for you to check them out and let us know what you think and maybe even buy them. That's what a lookbook was, but in a more traditional and tactile sense. Today, most lookbooks have ditched the tactile and tangible book format and they essentially live as digital PDFs on most brands' websites and social feeds. Some brands provide them as sort of PowerPoint slides that can be flipped through, and some brands take a more creative and innovative approach. What's the purpose of a lookbook? Well, it's simple. The purpose of a lookbook historically has been to convey a brand or a specific designer's latest collection in a flattering and compact way. These books have historically been given by fashion brands to the major buyers of the largest retailers to convince them to carry their lines. And they do this by creating a professional and attractive and enticing layout to convince these buyers that, hey, we have a great product and we know how to sell it. And this is why you should buy it from us. Now that the fashion world has embraced the direct consumer retail model, there's not as much need or necessity for fashion brands to distribute these expensive and heavy books to retailers. Brands can now focus their efforts on communicating directly with the customer and to create these digital books that can entice the customers and can communicate directly with them either through apps, their website, their social media feeds, and ultimately to help them drum up business and to drive e-commerce traffic and revenue. On this episode, we'll go over five key ways that lookbooks can actually help you achieve this. Number one on the list is that lookbooks help you to tell a better and more compelling story. So the reason that certain websites stand out amongst the crowd of the very, very crowded e-commerce space is and has a lot to do with their ability to tell stories visually and to embed a lot of life and character into their products. At the same time, lookbooks offer an excellent, excellent opportunity for you to include vibrant and attractive lifestyle images of their clothes and how people use them to help others and customers buy into the narrative on why they need these products in their life. Number two is that lookbooks put your brand front and center. On average, e-commerce stores that sell directly to consumers generate around 86% higher revenues than brands who sell traditionally through third-party retailers. There's a really good reason for that. This is because your customers, they're going to value your products more and ultimately they're going to spend more when they feel that they're connected with their brand and can identify with the story and the narrative being told. And number three is that lookbooks help to create a emotional connection with your customers. The reason that people wear certain brands over others is essentially because of a deep seated emotional connection that that brand has with that customer. The consumers ultimately feel driven to purchase certain items of clothing not only because of trends or the innate quality or value of those goods, but also because it's 
associated with positive feelings and nostalgia, and it evokes certain emotions that drive these consumers to buy and buy more product down the line. And number four, lookbooks help you to tap into the potential of experiential retail. Traditional retail has successfully experienced somewhat of a small revival through the lens of experiential retail. When it comes to experiential retail, this is the idea that shopping should be more immersive and entertaining rather than just purely functional and passive as it's been traditionally. At the same time, you don't necessarily have to spend a ton of money to build these pop-up stores. Instead, you can actually take advantage of the experiential retail revival by creating interactive lookbooks that portray products and new collections in ways that are engaging to customers in ways that static product images simply can't compete with. And number five, lookbooks are an easy way to announce new collections and to boost your seasonal sales. In a sense, digital lookbooks serve the same essential purpose that the physical lookbooks of yesteryear used to offer, which is essentially to showcase your designs in a heavily branded conceptual way in order to drum up third party media attention and the attention of your customers. In addition, adding your new collection lookbook to your email marketing when a collection goes live is going to be more enticing than simply sending a link to customers with the sales page for your new collection. It's going to be more enticing and it's going to come off as less heavy handed and salesy. Ultimately, you'll need to create a lookbook that is 100% unique to your brand, your vision, and your story. We've seen how lookbooks can be such a powerful tool to drive your e-commerce revenue. But at the same time, it's important to maximize the impact of these lookbooks by creating one that feels authentic and genuinely giving your own brand spin and identity to it. You don't want to create a lookbook that looks like everyone else's and doesn't clearly articulate your mission and your motto. Whilst some brands may be better served by creating simple, sleek, and streamlined lookbook designs, other brands may want to invest a little bit more, create more interactive features intended to evoke certain emotions and reactions from their customers. What lookbook you ultimately put out will depend on who your brand is, what you're trying to say, and ultimately where you intend to take your brand down the line. If you guys enjoyed this video on lookbooks and feel like you've learned a little bit and are a bit more confident about creating a lookbook that feels right for you, please, please consider smashing a thumbs up. It really does help us out and lets us get these videos out to more people, which we love to do. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Fit Design TV. Stay awesome.